I told you to take <laughs> Michael Parsons. I mean, he's a bigger he's Devin awesome. White. Now, that's what he was in college. Now, we saw Devin White trans transfer, translate mm -hmm. from L LSU. He might be even better in the NFL than he was in LSU, and he was something special at LSU. But this kid is bigger, six foot three, 246 pounds, ran sub 4'4", was a Buckus Award winner in his sophomore season. Now, he opted out last year, but he can get after the quarterback. He's sideline to sideline. He can get back in coverage. He, I believe he's a special talent. I believe he's better than both Jalen Smith and, and uh, Vander, Vander Esch. Mm -hmm. Their play has dipped. Vander Esch can't stay healthy. Mm -hmm. I don't know what, whatever it is, Skip. He's a big kid, but he can't stay healthy. Yep. Jalen Smith, that injury, although it's a great story for him to overcome, Skip, yep. he's just, he doesn't have the explosiveness yep. that he once had. This kid is the real deal. Now, yeah, I'm sure they would have loved to have a corner, but that's what that's what happens, Skip. If you don't move up, you're like, well, okay, I'm sitting right here. And then off the board goes, boom, right in front of you. Eight, nine, you get two corners. You get J.C. Horn, you get uh, uh, Pat Sertan the second. And now, but I believe sometimes, Skip, the best decision is the one you don't make. And this kid, Skip, this kid can be special. Now, if... And I told you, I said, Skip, you know, he got some red flags off the field, but that seemed like he Jerry type of guy. Because, mm -hmm. you know, Jerry liked them bad boys. Jerry liked them guys. You're talking about the hazing incident he yeah. was involved in at Penn State. Penn State. He says he's innocent as sort of allegedly accused. Right. Yeah. So I like the pick, Skip. Yeah. This kid can be special. I know they probably wanted a cornerback, but I don't think they'll be disappointed yep. with this kid. He, 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 he's, a, he's a special talent. And it's, Skip, think about it, by moving back, and which is rare, I don't, I don't remember, remember teams, maybe this is a new thing that's coming, teams that's in the same division, trading with each I ain't helping you. I wish I might help you and you going to take somebody that could possibly beat my eyes in. Why would I do that, Skip? I was shocked we did business <laughs> with the hated Philadelphia <laughs> Eagles. How dare you, Jerry Jones? But, but Skip, it worked out. But, Skip, you know this, Because he walked away with an extra third-round pick, and we will see this evening how that how gets utilized. Asante Samuel Jr. is still on the board. His dad played, Skip. Yep. Tyson Campbell from Georgia and Elijah Molden. So there's still some corners on the board if... But I know you wanted you wanted Pastor Tad the second. But I don't believe you're going to be disappointed with this kid. I hope you're right. It tore my guts out when your Denver Broncos speaking <laughs> up stole Patrick. Not like from those picks. Joe Clatt, I loved and hated your first round of your <laughs> that's, that's, that's the beauty of it. I, I'm going that's to mock of some of your mock draft Please, picks. Please, that's what it's it for. to quarterbacks. Okay. Obviously, I think we all agree by now. I was ahead of this curve. Kyler Murray is going to be easily the best player in this entire draft, and he should go first to the Arizona Cardinals. But after other quarterback I like in this entire draft, and he is not Daniel Jones, who you have going 15th to the Washington Redskins. I think that would be a really bad idea. He's not even Dwayne Haskins, who you have going sixth to the New York football Giants. If you have Saquon Barkley. Are you sure about Sam Darnold? I'm pretty sure about Sam Darnold. Uh, I'm not completely convinced. I'm, but, I'm okay, almost certainly You're saying they should have convinced. taken Sam Darnold. No question about right. it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no question. I think Why I'm not? A, you just, Jared Goff, do you know what Belichick did to Jared Goff in the Super Bowl? The, he had a QBR of 15 in that yeah, game. Yeah, uh, okay, but Skip, that was, that was then. He got Cooper oh. Cup back now. Oh, so that's going to change the world. Cooper Cup's going to change the world. Oh, Julie, yeah, he, he's a... Uh, he Cooper Cup is to the Rams what Danelle House is to the Rockets. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, then. Then that changed the world. <laughs> yeah. Skip, look. This strong calling out AB. Hell no, nah, he should have come out stronger. Huh. Skip, this is supposed to be the honeymoon. Yeah. Skip, you know, look, you plan a wedding. Now they traded a third and a fifth to get AB. A big time, big play potential. Has Hall of Fame written all over him. True. So you get and you give him three years, 50 million, 30 million fully guaranteed. This the honeymoon. Then if I have a great wedding, I have a, 150 people at my wedding, mm. an eight-tier cake, and everybody is all happy, and I get to the honeymoon, and all we do is argue for two weeks, there's a good chance, Gil Bayless, we probably not gonna make it to that old silver anniversary, that 25-year anniversary oh, no. mark. Even there's a good great. chance that the Oakland Raiders and Antonio Brown skip is not gonna make it these three years. Mm -hmm. I'm afraid that's but I told you this was going to happen. Mm -hmm. See, Skip, everybody jumped on me. Some, and I told you in 26, early 2016, when he went Facebook Live, yeah. no. what I tell him he should do, Skip? You, you said cut bait. You knew right away. Because yeah. I know. Yeah, I remember if that. he's acting like this, Skip, mm -hmm. with very little money, and at the time, for what he was producing, he was making little money. I said, you watch. You give him money, Skip Bayless? Mm -hmm. Money does not change people. 
Money makes you more of what you already are. You see what he was when he was in Pittsburgh and he was making six million? Now they gave him 16, 17, 18 million. And he's a bigger jerk than what he was in Pittsburgh. Carson has often made me wince, as in, oh my God, they found a real quarterback in Philadelphia. But Dak Prescott has been even better to the point that right now, I think that Dak's three game performance is actually being underrated, maybe even a little overlooked because Carson Wentz was the second pick in the draft. And oh my God, it looks like the Rams and the Browns made grave mistakes not taking Carson Wentz. You know what I think? I think they all made mistakes not taking the fourth round pick out of Mississippi State named Dak Prescott. I'm, I'm going to throw my favorite stat at you. I talk about it all the time. QBR, scale of 0 to 100. It incorporates all facets of quarterback play, including your legs, how mobile you are. And I'm going to tell you first up, in all my time of watching young quarterbacks, I have never seen a quarterback execute with such relentless, consistent precision up and down the field, long drive after long drive, with such poise and command and accuracy and using legs mobility. Scale of 0 to 100. QBR. Dak Prescott is second in the National Football League at 87, only because Jimmy G, Jimmy Garoppolo, is slightly ahead of him, having only played a game and a half. So I'm not even sure Jimmy G should count anymore, but he does right now. So Dak is barely second at 87. Carson Wentz is at 69, which is 12th in the NFL, which is really good. But 87 to 69, that's almost a 20-point QBR swing for my guy, Dak Prescott. And he's not getting enough credit even now off last night, albeit against the Chicago Bears. Albeit. Albeit. But it was Sunday night football in Jerry World, which I keep telling you has been scary world for my Dallas Cowboys. They had lost eight straight games at home, home field disadvantage. And what did he do? He executed up and down the field, play after play after play. He had a 99 QBR last night. On a scale of 100, he was a 99. And let me hit you with this. Who leads the National Football League in third down conversion? My Dallas Cowboys. No, not just them. It's him. It's because of Dak Prescott. Who leads the National Football League in offensive efficiency? Dak Prescott's Dallas Cowboys. Who leads the National Football League in plays per drive, per scoring drive? 11 plays he averages per scoring drive. Think about that. Let that compute in your Hall of Fame mind. 11 plays per scoring drive easily leads the National Football League because... Here on Thanksgiving Day, you need to give up the ghost of the man you call walk it to him, Wentz, that I have renamed. He ain't going nowhere. Give it to him, Wentz. It's over. He has come all apart. Even if you look at the scope of his, how many years has he played now? We're up to five. Five, this is fifth 16. year. Since entering the league, he has the third most turnovers in the whole league to Jameis and third cousins up in Minnesota, okay, over the last five years. Mm -hmm. But so far, he leads the league in interceptions. He leads the league in sacks, so he's holding on the ball too long, even though his protection has right. obviously broken down occasionally. Right. And his total turnovers, including the four fumbles lost, equal 18, which is five clear of the next individual on the list and is more than 29 other teams have as a team. Th th that's abominable. That's all-time bad. And it's pretty clear the coach has given up on him. Yeah. Because the coach is nobody's fool. He's been around. He's done Super Bowl press conferences. He knows how the media works, mm -hmm. especially in Philadelphia. So he gets asked yesterday, are you, are you thinking about any change at quarterback? Not today on Wednesday, no. That's a, <laughs> you're dropping a bombshell. Thank you. Not today on Wednesday? And somebody says, well, what about Monday? Because they play on Monday night against Seattle at home. Long pause. I'm focused on getting better today. What? So the door is open? No. No, Carson is our quarterback. Well, you don't oh, see think, it. It doesn't sound very Are you convincing. thinking about it? Well, I think about a lot of things. Yeah. 
I think about a lot of things. <laughs> okay. Lion. <laughs> I give Jalen Hurts 90% 90. of what happened yesterday. He changed everything for the Philadelphia Eagles. I hate the Eagles, but I love me some Jalen Hurts. I said, tweeted, posted on that draft Saturday, Jalen Hurts will be better than Carson Wentz. I'm not saying he has a better arm. I'm not saying he's taller. I'm not saying he's bigger boned. You Carson Wentz he'll play got the position better. He'll just perform better at the position than Carson Wentz will long term. I've believed it with all my heart and soul since I watched every snap Jalen Hurts played at the University of Oklahoma, especially that second half at Baylor a year ago, November, when they trailed 31 to 10 against the best defense in the Big 12. You can say it's just the Big 12, but Baylor had a really good defense. Mm -hmm. And Jalen Hurts lit them up in the second half for 305 total yards. That is correct. I did not love Josh Rosen before I read this article, and now I like him Even much less, <laughs> much less. This is a case study in why you should not spend a high draft choice on this young man. Before this, I did not love his makeup. I did not love his intangibles. I didn't love his mental toughness. I didn't love his durability. I didn't love the fact that he often came across as a spoiled rich kid, because I think that's basically what he is, bottom line. And... It offended me that he talked about, well, if Tom wins sixth, I'll have to win seven, when he's won nothing in his life that I can see. He didn't win anything in college, and I, I don't know his high school career at Don Bosco that well. John Bosco. Yeah, but um, it, it was I don't, decent. I don't, I don't, I mean, obviously, he was a great player. He was a great yeah. player. I mean, he, he won awards, but I don't think country. they won. I don't think they won anything. But that's a, that's, a good, that's a good school. It's yeah. out of Jersey, right? right? Uh, yeah. No, it's right, it's right here. Bell in Southern Flowers, California. And it's... South. Don Bosco, okay. Yeah. John, St. John, John, John Bosco. St. John, right okay, I'm talking about the one in, in Bosco. Bosco. Yeah, No, yeah. You're, you're, I'm yeah. thinking of that one also, but this is the one <laughs> down in Bellflower. Yes. So the point is, it, we, you, you won what? You did what? And he's talking about, I love Kellen Moore, winningest. Well, were you close to being the winningest college quarterback? Yeah. I, I don't see it. So to me, I say this every year about these quarterbacks. You better know or don't risk the high pick. And now somebody's going to risk a high pick on him, I assume. It, yeah. Will he go in the top? Let, let's say, what, what, what's, his, what's his floor? How, how far could he fall to where? 13, 14, 15? Potentially. I mean, and listen, it's not unprecedented that we see someone with this type of ability level yeah. fall into the 20s. Maybe. We saw it with Aaron okay. Rodgers, and there's All certainly right. a lot of similarities. But, but I always say this. If I have any doubts about one of these court, one, we got t five kids who are up there in the top somewhere. I'm not taking him in the first round because he'll just disappoint you, he'll frustrate you, and he'll leave your fans um, up in arms at you. You know, like what, what did you do? Because <laughs> yeah. once you once you take him at two, let's say the Giants take him at two, well then you're stuck with this this experiment, and it's going to go on for a while because your pride's going to be on the line, and you're going to try him, and you're going to try him for two years, and then three years, and finally, at some point, you're going to say, you know what, he's just not that guy. And yeah, and, and yeah. last point, maybe prototypically, he's the most ready to play in the NFL because he came from more pro I mean, style. As a player, he's beautiful. No, I, I, mean, I got really it, is. but to me, Baker Mayfield has played on bigger stages and bigger stakes games than he has, and Baker Mayfield will not be afraid of the NFL. I think you could throw him into the fire next year, and he would not disappoint you the way this kid will if you throw him into a big fire next year.